Hi guys, what's going on? Today we're going to take a look at Adobe's pretty bold statements when it comes to their enhance and super resolution features uh, from uh, Photoshop and the Lightroom. Are they any good? When should you use them? Well, let's see. So today's video comes after I've uh, started messing around with these features and uh, experimenting with them and also with Capture One. I've uh, just started di dipping my toes in, uh, in it actually and Capture One is another editing program like uh, Lightroom for uh, photos and many photographers swear by it, especially for uh, Fujifilm cameras for reasons which will soon see. This is in no way a definitive demonstration or a scientific test. Uh, I just want to show my uh, my observations and uh, what I've noticed, what works for me, what doesn't and uh, all that. Uh, I also want to keep it short and sweet so uh, yeah I'll try to do that. Okay so I think we should start with how Adobe is uh, is defining these features and uh, when they say you should use them and what they're supposed to be doing just so that we don't have unreasonably, unreasonably high expectations from them and expect them to do something that they're not meant to do. Uh, so about the uh, raw details uh, slash enhanced details, they say it produces crisp details, improved color rendering, more accurate renditions of edges and fewer artifacts. Um, this is an important part, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, raw details is especially useful for making large prints where fine details are more visible. This feature applies to raw mosaic files from cameras with a Bayer sensor, Canon, Nikon, Sony and uh, others, and Fujifilm X-Trans sensors, another important part, remember that. And the other feature, the super resolution, helps create an enhanced image with similar results as the raw details but with twice the linear resolution, this means that the enhanced image will have two times the width and two times the height of the original image or four times the total amount of pixel. This feature supports the same file types as the raw details plus additional files uh, types such as JPEG and TIFF. Super resolution is especially useful to increase the resolution of a cropped image. Okay, so far so good, I think we understand. So let's uh, let's take a look. Okay, so we have a couple of examples here, uh, which we will go through together. On the uh, right side, we have the standard version of a, a raw file, a raw image um, from a Fuji camera, my XT4, and on the left we have the same image, but I use the enhanced details or raw details function on it. And I can notice um, some differences. For example, there is more sharpness and um, a better defined details in the haystacks, indeed, as, uh, as the uh, Adobe definition uh, kind of describes this, uh, this uh, function. And also in the bird as well, I would, I would, uh, I would say that we can, uh, we can see a few more uh, details on the left side than, than the right one. This looks a bit softer, a bit, a bit more blurred. So yeah, I think there, there are some, some differences. Then let's take a look at the uh, super resolution file. And as you can see, the resolution is indeed double, but um, let's, uh, let's take them a step at a time. So as you can see already, um, yeah, there are some differences. This one is clearly sharper, more details, better defined edges and with the bird as well. Yeah, this is uh, this is way way better. Now would I use the super resolution on any file and every photo that I have? Well no is the short answer because uh, this takes a while to process and it, as you will see soon, uh, it comes with a few disadvantages as well. Um, and let's go back to the uh, super resolution one. And if we take a look at these haze from really up close, you can see these dots which looked like, um, I don't know, something burned or something like that. It's, uh, it's a very bright part with a black dot in the middle many times if you can see it here 
and many many others but guess what this wasn't in the initial file so uh, as you can see yes there are some uh, some bright areas but it doesn't look like that it, it really doesn't look the same as you can see it introduced basically some artifacts and some details where there weren't any so that's one of the downsides of, uh, of over processing an image and trying to make it sharper than it was and now let me show you the uh, capture one version uh, which is uh, the one on the right here and um, besides the white balance which are a bit different I can see some other differences as well the software interpreted the image a bit differently and uh, to me it kind of looks more natural on the right side I don't know it's it's hard to explain and hard to put into words but uh, it looks a bit more it looks a bit more natural here I could of course edit it and make it um, brighter make it uh, warmer or all things like that but yeah then we have this example which is a forest scene with some uh, trees of course and if we start comparing it uh, this is uh, the normal version on the right and on the left is the enhanced version you can really see it has been sharpened there are more details there are uh, better defined details but if we keep sharp uh, if we keep zooming in uh, it looks a bit maybe over sharpened to my eye i don't know it's uh it i don't think it was necessary in this case for this photo and also let's uh, take a look at this uh brighter part again um it's uh i think it's it's over sharpening uh, with details which aren't there so you might end up with some artifacts and uh, things like that and then if we look at the super resolution one you can definitely see the difference just so much more resolution so many more details and it's just night and day but again do you need to do that um most often i would say not really and let's take a look at the uh, lighter details as well as you can see it's definitely sharper but also it kind of introduces some artifacts and weird colors like purple and just the details which weren't there to begin with so uh, it's kind of hit and miss when you we don't really uh, know what the details are to begin with and now let's take a look at the uh, version from Capture One, which is the one on the left and the one on the right is the standard uh, Lightroom version. Um, at, f at the first glance, there aren't that many differences. Although if we zoom in a bit, for example, in this dark part and we do the same here, I would say there's more noise or artifacts on on the right side on the uh, Lightroom uh, version and that might be because it just looks like it's uh, it's got more contrast and uh, the, the shadows are darker this one on the capture one is slightly more matte and um, of course you can you can change this you can edit this but at the end of the day you want to have uh, fewer clicks as possible to to press you know to edit an image and also let's let's take a look at the uh, brighter parts now here we see some differences we see that maybe the lightroom version is a bit sharper again but it's kind of it's kind of over sharpening the image I would say and creating again details where there aren't any details to create or where it was soft because there wasn't enough resolution to begin with so so which one is better I don't know you tell me which one you prefer I think I prefer the uh, capture one it looks a bit more natural to me 
than uh, the over sharpening of uh, Lightroom and not only the over sharpening but the hit and miss of Lightroom because uh, if it's if it's if it tries to over sharpen things which weren't there it kind of creates details so yeah another example which I have for you is uh, this image which admittedly is pretty rough uh, I didn't use a tripod and there's some noise because there was no light anymore but on the right side we have the normal version from Lightroom on the left side we have the enhanced version with Lightroom as well and let's try to see some uh, some differences what I can uh, notice I think is that if you look at the horizon line to me on the left side the enhanced version did a better job at um, at defining the horizon line on the right it, it looks a bit like there's too much clarity which is kind of weird because usually the enhanced version uh, does exactly the opposite it, it it introduces more sharpness but in this case uh, apparently it toned it down a bit and it looks a bit better to me other than that I don't really see any any difference at all the noise is still there the sharpness is the same so uh, yeah that's the only difference I see then when we compare to the capture one version on the left here and the standard version from Lightroom on the right we can see some differences um, the the capture one looks a bit less sharp but that's also probably due to um, how it handles noise and all that so it can be tweaked it can be adjusted but again the horizon line for example to me it looks uh, looks more natural and the last example I have for you guys is this one and for this I used the super resolution just to show you in which scenario you shouldn't use it uh, and this is uh, this is why you shouldn't use super resolution in this case you can you can just see that yeah it, it's sharper and there's more resolution but it also looks much worse in my opinion it's it's grainier is it's basically over sharpening noise and yeah it doesn't look good it doesn't look good you're you're better off with a uh, lower resolution then when we compare to the capture one version uh, again maybe capture one has a more diffused look and you can notice the um, noise in the skies a bit less I think in the capture one version but it depends uh, on on your edits as well you can throw in some more noise reduction and stuff like that uh, we can see that capture one uh, I think did a worse job here in in uh, in these really really tough conditions with a lot of noise and basically uh, no light but yeah that's uh, that's kind of a very very hard situation for both of them and neither looks really good if we start to zoom in a lot okay so I hope this didn't leave you more confused than we were when uh, we started uh, but in a nutshell what I can say is that uh, enhance sometimes does work and uh, refines the edges um, a bit more than uh, they were previously a bit better um, but not always sometimes it's just over sharpens things unnecessarily super resolution uh, generally only works if the image is a very good quality one meaning no noise or things like that and I wouldn't really use it anyway uh, unless you want to crop in a lot or uh, you want to print really big and you're afraid you don't have enough resolution other than that don't bother using it it's not it's not necessary it will only uh, make your uh, editing uh, process uh, slower and harder and other than that Fujifilm images um, really do look a tiny bit better from capture one when compared to editing in Lightroom for me uh, it's not a big difference but there is a noticeable one and uh yeah it's uh you know it's a dilemma it's a struggle because i didn't want to uh, i didn't want this to be the conclusion i don't want to change my workflow at all i am happy with lightroom but uh you know when you <laughs> see that another editing program gives you better results you kind of have to think about it uh will anyone notice other than you when you pixel peep and all that eh, questionable probably not i don't know 
But yeah, that's, uh, that's I guess, a uh, dilemma that every Fujifilm shooter has right now. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one.